Right, so this is the first run of the game. Quite literally just bought it. Just installed. First attempt at connecting to a server. And it's just uh, doing its random will generation based on uh, the seed that the particular server using. Uh, in this case it being the Bulldog European server. So here goes. Okay, control guide. Wow, that's pretty good. It's pretty good indeed. So you just press F8 and you use that. Okay, so typical sort of MMO style. You got 10 usable slots. Uh, let's have a look. Yeah, that's really cool. Hmm, okay. Let's have a look at this then. I suppose first things first, let's get the graphics right. Because we are, after all, using a decent machine. We shouldn't be running it lower. So let's go to 1080p. Okay, took a bit of uh, faff to realise I'd double click. Right, so at this point there's obviously an alpha test, so there's not a huge amount of uh, content at this point in the game, I would have thought. And it's probably also fair to say you're not going to have a huge amount of choice in the graphics slides for the same reason. So let's have a go. Okay, so that's the mining side of things, for, at least for trees anyway. Looks like the game's using motion blur, which is not something I approve of. It'd be nice to be able to toggle that off. Ah, an NPC. Dot cotton. Guessing dot cotton must be another human player. After all, it is a server based game.
Now immediately, there's going to be a lot of comparison of this and Planet Explorers. They both have a very, very similar look and style. Uh, for me, I think this one looks a bit more nicer with it using the Unreal Engine. Um, but you know, early access on both games at this point, so... You know, there's always room for improvement and optimization. Just based on my own performance issues, I mean, I've got Planet Explorers as well. Uh, I haven't really put many hours in it, so... Hello. Oh, This. Hmm. Okay, I haven't got one of them then, obviously. Oh, let's have a look at somebody's little base that they've built. Ah. Bind. So in other words, I could use his spawn point as mine. That's handy if you Hello, consumer. Hi. Looks like Element X for its for lack of a better name, is uh, the current currency of precious items, by the way. Hmm. Okay. So we're going to wander over this one. Ooh, level one. I think I could probably have a go with that kicking ass one as well. Oh, it's nice to see that you just have to pull the button. That makes it fairly easy. And yeah, I'm not gonna go into the level four beasties at this point in the game. I, think I need to at least rank up a couple of times. Mm, nice bit of jumping. The animation's pretty solid. Render distance isn't too bad either. Quite like, look quite like this. Oh, looks like somebody else has got a mining base over there. Uh. Oh, looks like you've got a human having a bit of a scuff. Let's just do a bit of observation, see how he does. Not bad, bit of shared loot. Ah, oh, bugger off. Just because I nicked half his loot. <laughs> oh, so are these spiky? Not mineable. Yep, Alpha's still Alpha. They haven't obviously implemented the swimming part of the game in yet. Uh. 
this that tree is just too damn big. I don't think I'm going to go anywhere near that lock. Let's have a look. Watch this then. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> gems, sweet. Nah, I'm not going to risk fighting in the water in case I drown. Now, do we get a torch on this dude? Uh, flares on it. Mm -hmm. Not. And I don't appear to have any flares. Oh, kiddo gee. Well, these all seem to be level 1s and 2s. I think I can take most of these up. Kind of having a sort of flashback of uh, Outcast, the old uh, classic game from uh, I believe it was Ubisoft back in the day. Was I waving to there? Oh, looks like R two D two is there uh, in the ground here. Fight them or die. Let's try the old dodge behind objects tricks. The path and oh, the path and works. Oh crap. Right, they do seem to have zones where they're not chasing and finny, so that's okay.
Hmm. Where's the crafting? Am I just blind? Must be B for build, is it? Aha! Right, so I could build an armory. I best find somewhere a bit further away out from the zone. Performance doesn't seem too bad, like, um, I think we only watched about 10 minutes of uh, YouTube footage before buying in, and, but yeah, does the job. Ooh, look at that, that's nice. from them explosions oh. Harvest animals. This is this is a new concept. Oh, get on there. Oh, come on, really? I thought I got the shot in there. Right, where do I spawn? Run. Don't think I lost anything there.
digging the, the funky music, right? So not all animals can be resource mined. Interesting. theory you could actually take on as a group an animal like that and stun it. That's quite a good idea. I'm not sure what I'm going to use these for, but the fact that they're so common suggests they're uh, probably going to be useful to have. So I'm going to be level 6 just to open it. Okay. Looks like somebody's got a bloody uh, radar station hidden up on the top here.
Damn you! <laughs> yeah, projectile weapons are obviously a need for such beasties until I get further in. Can't really stun and swap weapons quick enough to make advantage of it, so it's definitely an idea for uh, groups. So it would seem. Ah, somebody's got a structure. Looks like the uh, the high board at the local swim bowl. Cubes. Mm. Mm. Yep, I haven't got the beans to get any of them good stuff. I'll probably attack the loser when they've had a good scuff. Alright, maybe not, maybe not, maybe not. <laughs> Didn't see a loot drop off that, did you? Nope. I can dodge. Print for the harvester, nice. <sighs> right, so that's where I was before I died.
Is there an entrance to this big structure, perhaps? Aha! Outpost. It's an enemy outpost. Oh! Bro. Mm, level 13. It's a bit hard. Seen some good resources around there. Can I get there though? Gonna nick every damn thing I can get me high hole on.
this must be one of the loot dungeons it was mentioning. Looks like these have been bioengineered. Looks like one of them escaped. Guess that's the beastie upstairs. Thanks. Alpha is out. Upside didn't lose any resources by the way. Of it. Some rustling going on. Hi. Pretty nice light effects going on over there. Did I just see a force field on there? I think. It...
corrupted. Ah, gem mining area, I think. Ah, that's a salute dungeon.
Maybe not. So you just need to find one of those mines so I put one down. What's the risk, do you think? You must be nearly dead, surely. Well, that damn fly is going to be a want to worry. Swine cause nothing. <laughs> Thankfully, not too far from me, bears. Get that from.
Bilder dabei. So that's how that works, right? Which means probably left my corpse full of all that loot inside the uh, base earlier. Shall we have a look? So I can get in there again, see if my body's in there, I might be able to loot my gear and then nick off out again. That's the theory. That's a bit unfair, shooting through doors. Is he shooting at me or is he uh, wandering off? Let's see if he's moved off, otherwise I'm going to die. fight you I think.
Mm hmm, tricky. The real question is, can I get out alive? Respawns as well constantly, that's always a good sign. some resources I think and then call the night to the first part of this video
Hmm. It's not too bad, but it'll take a while to get that level of element X to do it. Right, I think I'm going to call that a night. Not a bad little start. Something promising. Nothing really major in performance issues. A little bit in the open area when it's obviously regenerating, but nothing major. And ready for next time.